In this lecture, we're gonna be learning about edge control. So first, let's look at some examples of what edge control is. So edge control is basically just controlling the hardness or the softness of your edge when you're painting. So for example, we have this painting here by Rembrandt, and you can see that around his eyes, we have really hard edges. So they're not very soft, they're very rigid. Um, there's no sort of blurriness to them. But you can see that as we get away from the actual iris, we can see over here in the shadows, um, especially over here on this side of his face, the lighting gets really soft um, and the edges become very soft and blended. Same with on the nose, same with down here. It just all becomes very soft. Really the only places where we see really hard edges are right there on his eye, a little bit up here in his hair, and sort of right here on the edge of his hat. But even his hat is starting to get a little bit blurry. I guess you could kind of see it right there. But the reason why we want to control the edge is one, because it, it looks nice, but two is because it helps us create a focal point. So if we can make our focal point the most sharp and in focus thing and everything else is a little bit out of focus, a little bit blurrier, um, not as detailed, it's going to help us create more of a focal point. Let's have a look at another example. So right here we have a painting of this woman and you can see that again, her eyes are the sharpest part of the image. Her eyebrows are a little bit softer on the edges. All these highlights and shadows on her face are softer on the edges. Um, even the edge of her face is a little bit softer. And especially out here where you see her hair in the bottom of her hat, where you don't, where the painter doesn't really want you focusing, all of those are very soft edges. Same with some of this part of the bow on her hat. It's very soft, blended edges. And even though this doesn't show up in real life, it just makes your paintings look so much better when you can control those edges and do it with a purpose. All right, let's go ahead and look at our last example. So here's a landscape and you can see it again. You can see that the cows are a lot more in focus, a lot sharper. Um, this tree right here is a little bit sharper and then this tree back here gets a little bit softer around the edges. Um, you can basically just get a little bit more careless about the detail in the areas that you don't want your people focusing on. You can just kind of make it more painterly and, and just kind of let those brush strokes flow. You can see, especially back here in this hill and out here in this landscape, that the edges get really soft. Same with up in these clouds. All of it is nice and soft compared to the stuff that they want you focusing on. All right, so we have a project that we're gonna work on in this lecture to learn edge control. So I have this painting here of this girl and what we're gonna do is we're going to practice edge control by making some of the edges a little bit softer and some of them a little bit sharper. So right now it's just kind of a bunch of brush strokes. It's pretty neutral, so it's not super sharp and it's not super blurry. So we want to sort of embellish it by practicing edge control. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's start on the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this dark brown color that I already have for the eyelashes. And what we wanna do is we just want to start sharpening up these edges because we want the eyes to be the focal point. You almost always do if it's a person. So we're gonna work on that first. So let's go ahead and just make sure that this is all painted incorrectly. Let's find the darkest brown we can find in there and go ahead and paint that in. And just so you know, you can download this image in the resources of this lecture. All right, so the eyelashes are mostly painted in there already. So what we wanna do is we wanna just go ahead and take one of these lighter colors like on the eyelids, for example, and we just wanna start painting in up close to that. So we can start to get a sharper edge on that. Then we'll go ahead and select this next color. You don't wanna use the same color all the way across. So use kind of the colors that I already have there. We just wanna sharpen these edges up a little bit more. Go ahead and select this color. And already we're starting to sharpen up that edge of the eyelash. We'll do the same thing on the underside of the eye. So I'll select this color and let's just clean that up. Do the same thing on the other eye. Kind of start to sharpen up. on the under part of the brow. So I'm just selecting colors that are already there and then just painting that in, back in in that area, but just making sure that all of my edges are nice and sharp where I want them to be sharp. You can even sharpen up the bottom of the eyebrow a little bit more. And then on the iris, we wanna sharpen that up as well. We don't want any of these soft edges, we wanna be nice and sharp. I'm 
gonna go ahead and brighten this color up a little bit so the white of her eyes are a little bit brighter. Maybe drag that a little bit more up into my yellows. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this bottom part of the eyelid by taking the bottom eyelid color and just kind of painting over the iris to clean that up. Maybe I'll take a lighter color and do that. It's looking a little bit sharper. Let's go ahead and zoom back in there. Go ahead and sharpen up this area underneath the eye. Go in here and clean up the white of the eye and the bottom eyelid up just a little bit more. Now, the smaller you can make your brush for this, the better. Because when you're trying to get these nice sharp edges, a big brush is really going to muddy that up. Now I'm just taking a darker color and really sharpening up the edges of the iris. And if we can sharpen up some of the detail in the iris and the pupil, that'll help as well. And a little bit of a highlighted edge along the pupil, just like we did in our eye painting we did at the beginning of this course. Something like that. It's looking a little bit soft right here, so I'm just going to sharpen that up a little bit more as well. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of a brighter edge along the eyelid just to make that stand out more. Then I can grab an even lighter color and just kind of put a little bit of highlight on that ledge. And that just kind of helps it pop. And I'm going to actually add a, a actual highlight on the top of the eyelid because there should actually be a highlight there, not a shadow. Zoom out, see how that looks. All right, that's looking a lot more detailed and a lot more sharp and crisp. We could probably take it a little bit further, but I think that's good enough to get the point across. Um, some areas where we might want to sharpen it up as well are, let's say, the nose. We can sharpen that detail up just a little bit more. Sharpen up the lips a tiny bit. So I'm just going to grab a darker color and come in here and just kind of sharpen up the crease between the upper lip and the bottom lip. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. This is looking a little bit weird on the nose, so I'm going to soften that core shadow I added in there. Soften it up a bit. Alright, great. So now we have all that kind of crisp, crisping up a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's soften the edges that we want to soften. So all this is already pretty soft, but some of the areas that I really want to soften up are the profile. So I want the background and the profile to just kind of blend into each other. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is just to make this easier, I'm just going to go ahead and merge my background and my painting layer together. And then I'm going to go in there. I'm going to select this edge color, bring my brush size up, and then I'll just paint in kind of a light transparent area like that, select that color, and now I can just kind of start painting in that edge like this with that mix of the two colors, and that's gonna help begin to start softening that edge up. Do it again with this brighter color. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select the gray of the background, and I'm just going to paint that in lightly and transparently on top of what I just painted. Then I'm going to select the mix of these, this gray and this pink color and just kind of go back in there and touch it up a little bit. 
And I can also go back in there with this lighter color and just kind of repaint back on top of that and just touch it up as well. Now some other areas where I might want to do this is maybe I can soften up this hairline just a tiny bit. So I'll take that middle mix color and I'll just kind of paint in there like that. I'll reselect the next color down that got mixed in. I'll paint with that. I'm going to go ahead and reselect the skin tone and then just paint back over that just to bring the hairline back up a little bit. Something like that. Just soften it up a little bit. So now you can see that the eyes become a little bit more of the focal point now. They're a little bit more in focus. We have more detail in them, crisper lines, and the outside edge of our painting now is a lot softer. Now other things you can also do is you can always use something like the smudge tool or the blur tool and you can just blur out these edges. Um, it doesn't look as painterly, but it is an option. So you can see that that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just blurring out those edges to control my edge a little bit more. But there we go, that brings us to the end of this lecture. So just keep in mind when you're painting that you really wanna focus on the edge um, and whether it's hard or soft. You wanna actually think about whether it should be hard or soft. And usually the best way to determine this is what is your focal point and your focal point and everything moving out from that focal point should become more and more soft edged. And your focal point should have hard crisp edges and lots of detail. That brings us to the end of this lecture. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.